हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ आर डी महाजन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर मराठवाड़ा इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी प्रेजेंटिंग माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑन द टॉपिक लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ इंटीग्रल थेरम ऑन लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ इंटीग्रल फ्रॉम फर्स्ट यूनिट ऑफ लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म लेट एस सी द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ दैट थेरम इफ लैपलास ऑफ एफ ऑफ टी इज इक्वल्स टू एफ बार ऑफ एस देन लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ integral from or integration from 0 to t f of t dt is equals to 1 by s into f bar of s whatever this f bar of s we have to multiply it by 1 by s to obtain laplace transform of integral uh some problems based on this theorem first example find laplace transform of integral from 0 to t integral from 0 to t cos t dt okay therefore here f of t is cos t is integral integration from 0 to t with respect to t and we require to find its laplace transform Uh, we supposed to apply this theorem therefore <clears throat> we have laplace transform of cos t as by the standard result it is s upon a square plus a square a zero coefficient of t is 1 1 square is 1 and we call this as f bar of s c okay first step first part therefore laplace transform of integral from 0 to t of cos t dt it is equals to 1 by s into f bar of s and therefore it is equals to 1 by s into the f bar of s f bar of s the value of f bar of s is s upon s square plus 1 and therefore we get it is equals to s is get cancel 1 upon s square plus 1 a required answer okay uh here don't perform by finding the integration of cos t as uh, min uh, sin t and uh, laplace of sin t as this one that is we can say as verification part but here we supposed to apply this theorem only second find laplace transform of integral from 0 to t sin of omega t plus alpha is integration with respect to t hmm. therefore here f of t is this one its integration from 0 to t and its laplace we have to obtain therefore once again we have to apply the same theorem hmm. performing the steps In our earlier video, I have explained how we can obtain the Laplace of sine of omega t plus alpha. Therefore, repeating that step here, we have sine of omega t plus alpha, expanding it by sine a plus b formula, sine a cos b plus cos c sine b. As per that, it is sine omega t into cos alpha plus. sin alpha into cos of omega t okay uh, expansion then uh, taking laplace of this and laplace of this taking laplace transform on both side and therefore laplace transform of sin of omega t plus alpha 
and Laplace transform of uh, sin omega t cos alpha plus sin alpha into cos of omega t. Okay, and therefore it is equals to uh, applying the property of linearity taking constant term outside the operator here it is cos alpha is constant here it is sin alpha is constant therefore taking that outside therefore cos alpha into laplace of sin omega t plus sin alpha into laplace of <coughs> Laplace of cos of omega t. Okay, and therefore it is equals to cos alpha. Uh, Laplace of sin omega t is omega divided by s square plus omega square plus sin alpha as it is. And Laplace of cos omega t by this it is s upon s square plus omega square okay. uh, here uh, denominator is common same therefore taking LCM and writing the numerator term addition of that numerator term it is omega cos alpha plus s into sin alpha or sin alpha into s and we call this as a bar of s see okay and therefore last step laplace transform of integral from 0 to t sin of omega t plus alpha is 1 by s into a bar of s and therefore it is equals to uh, 1 by s uh, into this f bar of s therefore what is f bar of s it is omega cos alpha plus s into sin alpha divided by s square plus omega square uh, answer for this Laplace transform or uh, this is the required Laplace transform by applying this property find Laplace transform of integral from 0 to t t sin t dt t sin t dt uh, here we require to find the Laplace of this integral uh, which involves uh, two steps first we find the Laplace of sin t multiplied by t use that theorem for multiplication by t and then lastly uh, this theorem Laplace of integral uh, performing step by step therefore we have Laplace of sin t as applying the standard result it is 1 upon s square plus 1 we call this as f bar of s say and therefore Laplace transform of multiplication by this t to that function sin t uh, using that theorem multiplication by t raised to n we get it is minus 1 raised to n n is here power 1 
minus 1 raised to 1 and first order derivative d by ds of f bar of s and therefore minus 1 raised to 1 is minus sign uh, d by ds of f bar of s what is f bar of s 1 upon s square plus 1 and it is equals to minus uh, derivative of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square as per that it is minus 1 upon s square plus 1 bracket square chain rule differentiation of s square to s okay and simplifying it this minus minus it become plus 2s divided by s square plus 1 bracket square we call this as new f bar of s c this is new f bar of s and then lastly therefore laplace transform of integral from 0 to t t sin t dt is as per this it is 1 by s into f bar of s and therefore it is equals to 1 by s this f bar of s here f bar of s is 2s divided by s square plus 1 bracket square and if you simplify s is get cancelled final answer is 2 divided by s square plus 1 bracket square as the required Laplace transform or the answer for this Laplace. Therefore, here uh, we have to perform in three steps. First, we find the Laplace of sin t, then applying the property of multiplication by t, and then finally applying this property or Laplace of integral. Yeah. Last. Find Laplace transform of integral from 0 to t, uh, t sin h, t into sin h to t dt. Uh, therefore, once again here also, first find the Laplace of sin h to t, then apply the theorem for multiplication by t, and then finally apply this theorem for Laplace of integral. Uh, three steps, uh, t part, three parts. Therefore, performing that three steps, we have Laplace transform of sine hyperbolic 2t Uh, applying the standard result a upon s square minus therefore a is 2 divided by s square minus 2 square 2 square is 4 and we call this as f bar of s c okay and therefore laplace transform of t into sin h to t applying uh, Laplace of multiplication by t raised to n that theorem and therefore it is minus 1 raised to n n is here 1 same order derivative uh, with respect to s of f bar of s and therefore it is minus minus 1 raised to 1 is minus sign uh, d by ds of f bar of s f bar of s is 2 upon s square minus 4 and therefore it is minus uh, 1 by x derivative of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square and it therefore becomes minus 2 upon s square minus 4 bracket square chain rule derivative of s square with respect to s And if you simplify it, minus minus it becomes plus 4s divided by s square minus 4 bracket square 
न्यू एफ बार ऑफ एस से ओके सेकेंड स्टेप इज कंप्लीटेड एंड देन लास्ट स्टेप दे फोर लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ इंटीग्रल फ्रॉम जीरो टू टी ऑफ टी साइन एच टू टी एंड इट इज इक्वल टू एस एस पर दिस थेरम इट इज वन बाय एस एफ बार ऑफ एस एंड दे फोर इट इज वन बाय एस एंड एफ बार ऑफ एस इज फोर एस डिवाइडेड बाय एस स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ब्रैकेट स्क्वायर एंड इफ यू सिंप्लीफाइड एस एस गेट कैंसिल वी गेट फोर डिवाइडेड बाय एस स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ब्रैकेट स्क्वायर विद द कंडीशन एस ग्रेटर देन फोर एस रिक्वायर्ड आंसर दिस इज द आंसर ऑफ द लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ दिस टॉप द फोर विद दिस फोर एग्जाम्पल आई हैव एक्सप्लेन हाउ वी कैन ऑप्टेन द लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ एंटीकल प्लीज फ्री टू give your feedback on my videos if you like it share it as well as subscribe my channel for new updates thank you thank you